How was that? Now, we have an appeal here. We have an appeal. There's no doubt that the non-striker was backing up too far. Paul Wife was going over to make sure this is a genuine appeal. I can only assume Ashwin has warned the batsman previously, and that's what he's walked to tell Sewag. I'm appealing because I've warned him before. Let's see what we can garner here. It's a cricketing issue, isn't it? It's ethics v the laws. Well, once he gets into his bowling stride he's got to bowl the ball i don't think he got to that stage no that's changed this yeah. year yeah it's you're allowed to go all the way over and come back now no i think once the arm starts you've got to then bowl the ball but the arm certainly hadn't started at that stage now they're asking for the captain they're going to say to say wag do you want that appeal to stand well, i reckon if he says yes well, well the appeal stands he, he's going to be out here uh, i'm sure the umpires just check did you warn him? Did you give him a chance to, to rectify the situation? Mind you, I don't think you have to warn a player. I'm sure they've let it go because of Tendulkar's influence, partly. I don't know what Sewag said, but maybe Sewag was with him. I, 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 I know that in an incident in England last English summer, I mean, it's out. He's out of his ground, and if there's been a warning, that's quite okay. It doesn't look nice, but it's quite okay. But I know that Tendulkar and Dravid influenced Dhoni last summer when Ian Bell was recalled to the crease, having been given out run out. 